when you guys got started in the beginning, how did you come up with this this wild, crazy war wizard theme that you've got? When we first got started, I had all these crazy ideas in my mind. You know, everybody was asking me what I was going to name it, and I was going through the circles of what was trademarked and what wasn't. And basically, you had the big number one truck was Grave Digger. Plus, this madman, Mark Brown, is like the craziest painter in the world. And he is, his key is skulls and knives and swords. So the second I knew I wanted to go with the wizard, he was the guy that's going to paint it. Because I knew he could just absolutely fly with it. I mean, he gets on a body and he stencils out just a little bit with a pencil and he starts drawing. And that's it. And then he just gets out the airbrush and the paint and he starts going nuts. And House of Colors paint starts flying everywhere. And literally, you know, he tells me to go to him two or three coffees and eight or ten hours later he'll have the face and the whole basic design of the entire truck done. I mean, once he gets going, it's just, it's like addictive. He never stops. So with the Coliseum shows, I, I know that back when you guys first got started, you were going up to some of the smaller venues where they're only like six and eight trucks. Well now you're telling me that you're doing like 16 trucks in, in one big stadium show like back in Detroit. What was it like in, in or to run in these smaller shows like like say Roanoke or, uh, or Columbia, South Carolina? Roanoke, Virginia. It's like probably our second closest stadium, that, or I'm sorry, not stadium, but Coliseum that we go to. You know, we go to all these big stadiums and stuff now. This is my eighth year in Monster Jam. So, you know, we don't go to a lot of the little coliseums that we used to. Um, I still miss going to them because we get to see a lot of fans close to the house and everything. Like tomorrow we're going to Columbia, South Carolina. But um, the time we went to Roanoke, Virginia, um, you know, it was our second year out. You know, we were still learning things, still learning what not to do and how to back off and how to run in red clay without breaking axles. And, you know, it was a learning experience to say the least. But, um, you know, it's just like everything else. It's just a, a step in the the learning curve as you go up, but that was back in the beginning. 